believe we are already on episode 5 of my first ever lipstick week. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Um I've tried to bring different things to you with each video and I hope that you guys enjoy it because if you have then I will go ahead and do more of such series across different product categories and different categories in general, maybe even in like fashion and stuff. So go ahead and give me your genuine honest thoughts down below in the comment section please. Please go ahead and hit like on my videos. It really helps my YouTube algorithm when you do that. So if you're enjoying my content, please show me your love. Um today's video as the title may have already told you is about a few red lipsticks. Now, I have to tell you first off that I was going to do red lipsticks in different budgets but then I realized that a lot of the lipsticks that I really like were within 1000 rupees and then there were suddenly two three lipsticks which were over 2000 rupees. So I said, you know what? Let's just make this a complete affordable drugstore version where I show you a few different reds that I've really really loved and that I think work really beautifully with uh, my skin tone and I think will do really well across different types of skin tones apart from that i feel like their undertones are really neutral as well so it doesn't matter whether you have a slightly more warmer or cooler um skin complexion skin tone i think it'll go well with most of them so let's not make this intro any longer let me talk about my favorites let's dive right into it I'm going to talk about is from a brand called Sugar that I have loved and used so much and this is from their Smudge Me Not Liquid lipstick collection. The shade I've picked out is Rad Red and I actually really enjoy the formula of this particular lipstick plus the fact that it comes in this teeny tiny little uh packaging makes it even sweeter as a deal because like this is something you can put in those party clutches. I love the tone of red this is because it has a really nice warm but still like sort of neutrality going for it. and it lasts really nice and long. The next lipstick I've picked is from L'Oreal Paris and this one is in the shade 115 I'm worth it from the Rouge Signature collection. Now this has a little bit more of a watery consistency, it's much thinner. So it's not like a full coverage opaque lipstick. It's sort of in between a lipstick and a tint but in a really good way. It lasts really nice and long and it's very 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 lightweight. So you almost don't feel it on your lips. The kind of red this is is that it has a little bit of that orange tinge to it and it's really nice and warm. So I feel like this will go with Indian skin complexions really beautifully. Um and I just I I love the consistency. I love the way this sits on your lips. Like I like that carefree. I forgot I'm wearing a lipstick kind of a vibe. Okay, the next lipstick is from Pack and this one is VI Pre from their Retro Matte Gloss range. First of all, I have to acknowledge and I say this every time I talk about this particular product. I have no idea why it's called gloss when it's matte. We'll never understand it. VI Pre is a shade that you guys have asked me about so many times. I remember this was a shade that I wore to Turkey to my Turkey trip in March 2019 last year and I would wear this a lot and every time I would put up a story someone would ask me what lipstick are you wearing so this is this is really truly been one of my like go back to kind of liquid lipsticks it's not as weightless as the l'oreal for sure but at the same time it's nice and sits beautifully on the lips it's very opaque the shade that i've picked out is a really nice deep red i feel like a deep red is something so many of us can get easily intimidated by like the super fair people think this will suit the darker people more and the darker more tan people think the super fair people should wear it more i think everyone should wear it because if you like a shade you should just wear it without thinking twice um i love 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 this shade and feel like it's just it's beautiful and it lasts really nice and long the fact that this was one of the only two like red tones i had taken with me for a two week trip to turkey should say it off the next one i have is from nika and this is this so creme one the shade i picked out is on fire now i have to tell you that this one is a lot more creamy the others that i picked out all of them are very very matte This is not as long lasting as them because you guys know I'm personally very very biased towards liquid lipsticks in general and this is the only bullet yep this is the only bullet from the lot that I picked out um it does last but you can't compare it with the others also I feel like any creamy formula or already is sort of much less transfer proof than a super matte liquidy one um but I like this because I feel I feel like the color payoff is beautiful it feels really nice and hydrating moisturizing on the lips um so it's sort of like a pros and 
cons kind of thing. But from the bullets, I really, really like this one, and the color is stunning. Last but not the least, I have the Maybelline liquid lipstick that you guys have definitely already seen me wear in the first video, I think. Um, this one is Plush It Red. Now, I have to tell you that this red has a little bit, a little bit of a pinky tone. I don't know if that comes through on camera. I hope that it does. I'm always trying to make sure that you guys get the most apt shade like coming through the basis like my ring light over here but it has a little bit of a pinky orangey finish which actually makes it really nice and unique because um, when it comes to the pack it's a little bit maroon when it comes to um, the sugar shade this one is like a proper proper red I would have loved to throw in, throw in a couple of high-end reds but I wanted this one to be a set of reds because I know so many people get hesitant about wearing reds this is me giving you a troubleshoot for it go ahead and get your hands on any of these reds and I feel like you will really like them based on the kind of undertone, warm, cool um, or just the shade, the level of pigmentation you're looking at right from something that could be tinty or like super heavy and like slightly more deep. Um, yeah, so this one is really nice and fun and super great for like a day wear well. look. The Maybelline is really beautifully transfer proof and dries out really matte. Wow, okay, that ends this particular video over here and ends the first ever lipstick series, lipstick week that I've done for you guys. Please give me your thoughts down below in the comments and if you want me to do more videos, if you have specific video ideas, I am always listening. I hope you're following me on Instagram because I'm really, really active on Instagram and would love for you guys to come and talk to me through DMs, comments, responding to my stories and the many live sessions that I keep doing. I also chat a lot on my stories, so in case you're looking for like real-time updates, that might be the place for you. Okay, thank you for watching you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can keep coming back. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and thank you for watching. Bye.